In this video, I want to show you how Logos transforms the most reputable Hebrew and Aramaic lexicon, Halot, into a powerful tool with features like emphasize active references, lexicon reformatting, clickable links to primary source texts, and word lookup from English translations. Imagine you're studying Genesis 1-1 where you find that God created the heavens and the earth, and we want to know more about the word create. In Logos, we can easily look up the Hebrew word used in Genesis 1-1 even if we don't know Hebrew. We could right-click on the English verb to create, select the lemma, and open Halot from the context menu. Or we can click on the Guides menu and open the Exegetical Guide to Genesis 1-1. In the word-by-word -word section of the guide, I find a heading with each Hebrew word and the corresponding English translation. This helps me immediately locate the Hebrew word I'm looking for. The Hebrew word for created is bara. Now that I've located the word, I can click on the abbreviation H-A-L, which stands for the Hebrew Aramaic Lexicon. Even though there are four different entries for this root, Logos takes us to the correct entry. I can turn on the Emphasize Active References visual filter to see if the editors of this reference cite Genesis 1-1 within this entry. Logos automatically searches my lexicon for every reference I have actively open and highlights that reference in the lexicon. To make this lexicon even more accessible, I can use the new lexicon outlining visual filter in Logos 6 to transform this block of text into an outline that makes it easy for me to find the information I need. Information like the various roots of the word create, attested forms of the word such as the Kalan perfect, imperative, and infinitive and the various places the word appears in ancient literature. The Logos edition of Halot also gives me the ability to quickly determine the meaning of abbreviations such as CJ. I simply hover over it and find that it stands for conjectural reading. Or I can hover over any of the citations in blue, like Isaiah 65, 17, to read the text without even leaving my lexicon. Finally, Logos lets me run an inline search to look up other entries in the lexicon like Yatsar, by clicking on the search icon, changing my search from all text to lemma text, and typing H colon YTSR. Or, if I want to find the Hebrew word for earth, I can change my lexicon from lemma text to gloss text and type earth in the search box. To get started using the Logos edition of Halot, place your order today.